Extends airport information, Romeo, 1350, Zulu weather, wind 330 at 6, both 10, sky clear. Temperature 9 at dew point 5, at altimeter 3021. Visual approach, runway 36. All right, 36. Wait for the clutch light. I finally mentioned it before, a lot of times what I'll do on the first start of the day, you hover for about 30 yeah. seconds, pick it up and let it hover for about 30 seconds, because if it's going to, if it's going to give up on a mag or something, it'll do it while it's cold usually, so. Get it to the wind and let it hover for a second. Gyrocopter's pretty cool, man. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, you end up coming up the cave and do some more training with me, man. I get yeah. a bunch of gyro time. Those things are just a hoot. Yeah, well, I hope uh, Stephanie and Brandon get to go, too. Yeah, good. They're, uh, they said they're excited to go up there. All right, I think it's going to fly. Okay, so we're going to go back to the runway for the first couple? Yeah. Or does it matter? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, actually, let's use a taxiway because it's smoother. Okay. That's where on the skid shoes. Uh, well, we'll just do present position then. Okay. Dennis Tower, helicopter 211 Tango Bravo from Millionaire. Request present position in a right close traffic to Alpha. We got Romeo. Helicopter 21 Tango Bravo, Dennis Tower, departure ramp, but your own discretion, use caution. In a right traffic. Wind 020 at 10. Hey, altimeters. 3022. 0 right traffic, one ticket problem. All right, we're in the green, we've got the fuel. They're uh, going that way, yep. so we'll go. Here we go. Don't wait, since we're going to 180, we'll just do a power recovery for the first one there. As soon as they get out of the way and off the taxiway, we'll sneak over to the taxiway and get some pull downs in. This about as cold as it usually gets down here. Uh, yeah, it gets a little bit colder sometimes, but yeah, we're, this is the, this is our winter. <laughs> Pretty unusual to see snow here? Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, it's like a once every six year kind of oh, thing. Yeah. We get ice sometimes, but yeah. mostly, mostly it doesn't happen. All right. Coming right. Hook up 2-1 Tango Bravo taxiway alpha cleared for the option. And avoid overflying the experimental down at the uh, approach in the runway 36. Yeah, she's holding short. We can get, we can get by her and enter. Okay, we'll uh, avoid overflying uh, company traffic 1 Tango Bravo for taxiway alpha for the option. Like that company traffic? Yep. <laughs> Same company. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there yeah, we might as well do a pull down. So we'll go ahead and put our car peak pull on. Got it on. Got it. Yeah, ready to go. Three green. We're good. So pull down. Yeah, it was too full down. Okay. We'll start it. I mean, once we get yeah on up the tax away a wee bit there, just so don't make the tower nervous there. <laughs> Wind socks out of the northeast. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yep, looking good. Go down a teeny bit with the nose. There you go. Check up a little bit. Okay, we're still good. Still good. All right, flare. On down with the nose, up on the collective. So was that leveling too early? Yeah, well, we were a little, a little high. Little, yeah, well, we were a little close to the ground, so I just, okay. that we were fine. Nothing wrong with that one. <laughs> it's interesting watching the rotor RPM just a droop, man. You lose it all in there at the end. Yeah. All right, so maybe a little bit on the level. Yep. Um, we were we were pretty close on that one. Let's not enough, again. or? Actually, I think we're just about right. Okay. I, mean, I just pushed forward to get you to level okay. it early because our tail was getting a little bit close. Now that's a trend item for me. I need to maybe not push it so close. Put 
but it's always kind of surprising to people how little of a pull there is on the collective. Yeah. I mean, you just barely lived in the collective, you know? All right, we're three green, we're ready to go, here we go. In fact, you don't want to pull it too much, because if you do, you're just, you know, what you don't want to do is come in here and pull there, and then come up on your collective and just sit up here at about three or four feet, and create yeah. all your rotor RPM, and then it just kind of falls out of the sky. It doesn't hurt anything as long as the skids are level, you'll bounce a little bit, you know? It doesn't look nearly as graceful as yeah. if you did it without bouncing. <laughs> One tango bribe was on the go right close to me. Helicopter 2 1 Tango Bravo, taxi way alpha cleared for the option. 2 way alpha cleared the option, company traffic inside. One tango bravo. And usually, if you're a private pilot and you're just renting from a place, they're probably going to tell you not to do autos in it. But just grab an instructor and go out and do it. You ought to at least every few months do a few yeah. autos just to. You know, don't you? That's a skill you don't want to get away from you. No, I know, no. I know. That's for sure. So, if you're Los Angeles now, you think you could get to the runway? I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Think you could successfully do a full down at the runway? Yeah. All right, enter. Go ahead and enter. All right, let's go to the taxiway. I'm sorry. Taxiway. Looking good. Looking good. Check up a little bit. Perfect. All right, everything looks good. A little check bit more down speed. a teeny bit, right there, that's perfect. That, that extra speed won't hurt a thing. Looking good, looking good. All right, flare, flare, a little more flare. Yeah, it's going to get her nose down. Yeah, a little wimpy of a pull it is. See, it's almost no pull. Yeah, I just kind of froze it. I yeah. picked it up a little bit and froze it. Yeah. We kind of hit ask it first. Just a little bit. I was, was going to let you see if you just brave enough to get your nose down. That's my, my bravery level. <laughs> well, you know, we kissed it a little it, bit. You it, know, it still it's still worked. The hardest thing you get used to in full down auto is just crazy. Is getting the damn nose down. Because yeah. it feels like you're... <laughs> it, it feels like you're forward. Yeah, because exactly. you've gone from this to this. It's a yep. the teetering effect. Yep. All right, let's try that again. Good job, by the way. Yeah, so the, the speed is what got us there, right? That's right. I mean, by picking up the speed. Yep. Now, if you want to go farther, you want to tend to do your auto at a higher airspeed. Yeah. If you're trying to shorten it up because you think you're going to be running out of runway or field or whatever, you want to slow it up. Can you um, go, can you dive, get some speed, and then bleed it off, or is it just well, better to slow down? You're better, well, it depends on what you're trying to do. If they, again, in general, if you're trying to stretch out your, yeah, you're to get so to let, the let, you want to go faster. Let's say we're, we're trying to get short yeah can you dive down like aim yeah. short and then float it well now actually what you want to do is bring your nose up and slow down okay and then you know you can shorten it up almost like we okay so i fly the gyro or yep, i brought it up to like 20. i saw that basically just coming straight <laughs> down i saw that well, yeah if you're doing it into a headwind and hopefully you're doing your auto into a headwind if you as you slow down you can really make a difference on the you can really shorten up the distance that you're going I wonder where the girls are at yeah i'm looking for them I don't see their shadow. Old trick from way back, look at your shadow. Oh, yeah. So if anybody's around you, you you'll see. You see two it. shadows, it's yeah. bad. Uh-huh. Yep, two shadows is not good. No. <laughs> wow. There they are. Midfield left downwind. Oh, I got them inside. What altitude do they fly? What's the rule? Oh, usually about 500 feet. I mean, is, is it the same? you got to avoid the flow yep. of fixed wing traffic yep. for yep. the helicopter? Yep. Avoid the flow of fixed wing traffic. We tend to fly where an airplane should not be, so that's going to be 500 feet, or usually three to 500 feet. So, you know, in rotorcraft, both helicopters and gyros, you try to put the helicopter where an airplane should never be, right. and much less risk of getting into any uh, mid-air with a fixed wing. I also let the uh, throttle slip on that one a little bit. Yeah, that's right. We caught it, but <laughs> it cheated a little. So I was kind of surprised you with that one on yeah. the entry, but that's no, okay. no, that's exactly. When the engine quits, guess what? It's yeah, yeah, the whole it. thing. It's the yeah. throttle factor. Well, that yeah, exactly. That was probably more realistic auto. Yeah. What happens when it quits? Yeah, you know, know, one Tango Bravo, right base, taxiway Alpha. Tell got the one Tango Bravo uh, taxiway Alpha clear for the option wind zero one zero at one zero. For the option taxiway Alpha one Tango Bravo. Like, I think we could make it from right here. Oh, good. Yep. I'm going to give them a little room now. I don't want them to 
be crowded. Yeah. What's their, like, about 65 knots, or 65 yeah, miles 65 an hour? Yeah, 65 miles an hour, so. Yep. All right, so let's say we wanted to shorten this up. We'll go ahead and check up on it. We're going to bring our nose up and slow down a bit. Even like about 50. Hey, leave your... There you go. All right. Now we got to leave ourselves enough time to get our speed back, though, right? So all we got to do is get that nose down. About 300 feet. Yep. Don't worry about the horn. There you go. We got our speed. Flaring, floating. Floating, 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 floating. Down on the nose, up on the collective. Wow. We're on the ground. All right. There you go. So that's so if you slow it up, yeah. you know, you're not going to go near as far. That was interesting. I want to try that. So the, the slow down thing. Is yep. Whenever you're ready, just do a normal entry first. All right, now come up with your nose a little bit. You checked up some. Uh, all right, up there a little bit. All right, now just hold your nose up like that. Get it to about 50. RPMs will come back. You're okay. Let me leave the collector right where you got it. All right, now lower your nose. We've got to get that speed back. I got to lower the nose some more. Oh, so you got to do a significant lower. Yeah. Now we've got to start flaring early, like that. I'll just talk about why here in just a second. All right, now level your nose. I wrote your throttle back down for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right there when we were about to get to where you wanted to flare, we were only going about 60. Yeah. So we got less kinetic energy. So you want to flare, and that's absolutely fine, but you got to start your flare early. Okay. Just remember, you recover your kinetic energy when you flare the aircraft. Okay. You know, you can have all the kinetic energy in the world, and if you just come down and slam into the runway, it's not going to be pretty. Right. So the flare is where you recover it. So you want to start it a little earlier, flare it a little higher, and sit there. Okay, now it works just fine. Let's try that again. All right. All right. That looks pretty good. All right. Just whenever you're ready. So now we're okay, just so going down. down. Yep. And if you just barely bring the nose up, don't worry about the RPMs coming up. You'll get a little upwards excursion on the blades. That's absolutely fine. Now just kind of hang out here at 45 or 50. So we can really vertical up our descent. You can see our, our shadow over here. We're yeah, just we're just straight down, down, you know. Yeah. Keep it about 40, 45, fine. Okay, so now we want to get our speed back. So come on down with the nose. The collective go down? Yep, nope, nope, nope. Just leave the collective right where you had it. It's absolutely fine. Keep the nose down. All right, oh, now we're a little slow, so we're going to flare a little earlier. Just a little. Flare again. Now up on the collective a little bit. Down on the nose, down on the nose. There you go. Nothing exciting about that, man. <laughs> That, it is exciting. <laughs> it is. This this feels more like the 22 auto. Yeah. The 22 auto felt like we were just falling out straight the sky. down. Yeah. yeah. Right. So and this is and this has been a good opportunity because we're, what we're doing we're starting our flare right at 60. You know, so you're seeing okay at 60 you got to flare quite a bit more. You know, to get your both your descent rate stopped and your forward airspeed. So, but and we don't skid all the way down. No. But and then once again though you got to get <laughs> got to get those skids level before you touch down. So. So let's look at the opposite. Let's say we're short. Yep. And we need to stretch it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wish in one hand. <laughs> you know. So I mean, <laughs> do you like you bump the collective to 90? You try to. You know, I don't teach people that because they get all jacked up on yeah. trying to get the, the RPMs down and up and down and all that. It's better just to get the nose down and keep your speed up. Yeah. So I tell you what, we're going to enter this one. And we'll tend to keep our speed up to about 80, even 85. Okay. On the auto, and watch how far we go. Okay. There they are uh, on yeah. the. Yeah. Uh, one Tango Bravo, wind 350 at 10, taxiway Alpha cleared for the option. Taxiway Alpha cleared the option, one Tango Bravo. All right. Looking good. And so we'll go ahead and enter. See, we entered at like 60, but now let's go ahead and let our nose down. Check up a little. There you go, keep that nose down. That's okay, leave it. 
Now down with the nose, down with the nose, down with the nose, up with the collector, just down a little more. <laughs> Still not enough. <laughs> and you're almost sick. A little bit of left stick. There you go. Let our throw our throttle back now. I actually like the slow one because it doesn't skid <laughs> 4,000 feet down the thing. Yeah. Uh. All right, try we can have fuel for 180. one or two. Yeah, we can do 180. I always forget to center the pedals after doing that because I'm like full. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you got a bunch of right pedal in. Yeah. Well. I was going to say earlier, at every takeoff, I'm expecting the aircraft to quit. Yeah. So, I'm prepared for, I'm like, just thinking, okay, this son of a bitch quits. <laughs> I'm leveling the skids. You know, doing the equivalent of a hovering auto and sliding across the ground. And, you know, you hate to be paranoid, but if you just kind of fly the thing expecting it to quit, it'll likely never happen to you. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? but if it does, you're ready. All right, there they are. Uh, a Bemis. Okay. Three o'clock. Yeah, we'll be okay. Um, why don't you tell me you want to, in fact, let's scoot over a little bit. Well, actually, we're going for Alpha, so that'll be fine. Yeah, and we'll do it from right here, so, yeah. like here in a second. Right. Phoenix, Berman, Ontario, 7 Charlie Charlie, just have midfield left down with runway 3. Experimental 7 Charlie Charlie wins 010 zero, zero at 8, runway 36, clear for the option. Experimental Charlie Charlie, clear for the option, runway 36. We'll take a problem for taxiway Alpha. Talk up to one Tango Bravo in zero one zero at eight. Run with taxiway Alpha clear for the option. Taxiway Alpha clear the option. One Tango Bravo. And that little up excursion doesn't hurt a thing on the RPM on the rotor RPM. That looks good. All right, so we got our turn made. So let your speed come up. We're looking good there. RPMs look good. Airspeed looks good. you do it if you're in the mud. All right. Yeah, that's, so, a, that's so, a good point. Yeah. So right there at the end, you know, I flared that extra little bit, and that really, really backs off your airspeed. And then, but again, you got to get those skids down for flat. And again, it's a pretty wimpy little pull. Surprising how slow you can actually be going when you touch down. So. Yeah. So hard surface. Do what hard you got to do. You can slide a country mile. But if it's in the mud, you want to drop it in like that. Or a field. That's right. Yeah, any kind and, of... You know, grass is... Well, the problem with grass is you don't know how the hell level it is. If, right. it's a, if it's a golf course that they mow all the time, you're fine. If it's somebody's pasture, you don't know what you're... You know what I mean? It could be big chunks and mow holes and all kinds of stuff that your skids can kind of catch on. So you tend to, even on... You know, like even here, if I was going to pull down here in the grass... Yeah. I would probably do it more like the one we just did. Okay. So that when you touch down, you know, you're only sliding about 10 miles an hour, 8 miles an hour, or whatever. And likely you're not going to slide into a, a ditch or something or a depression that you didn't see and nose the thing over. So you got to flare higher to do that. you got to flare higher because you got to have room for your tail. Gotcha. So. Ah, makes sense. So flatter for get longer, higher for... Yep. Technically, the ones where you slide them on are much easier to do. Yeah. They're a little bit more distressing when you first start doing them because they're noisy and it's slide and it makes all this noise. But technically, the flare and the sit down is actually much easier to time. So, okay, I'll work on that. So we'll do another one just like that one. We'll flare higher. Yep. Flare a higher height above the runway to allow for the tail. And we'll do the initial float. And then as we get towards the end, we're going to flare a little more just to back that airspeed off. And then we gotta get our skids down level, up a little on the collective. <laughs> Check up. Check up a little more. There you go. Looking good. Yeah, 
Don't chase it, you're okay. Player now. Hold it up there, hold it up there, hold it up there, hold it up, down on the nose, up on the skids. <laughs> Did a perfect auto about a foot in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. That was. Alright, well, we're starting to get kind of low on Yeah, the yeah, no, uh, absolutely. Let's, uh, Call it a day. I really appreciate it. Thank All you right. so much. This has You're been very welcome. Man. Best, the best training I've had in a helicopter to date, and that's saying a lot. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. We'll keep at them. You know, get you. I'm stuck there. Yeah. You can get you instructor to ride with you. It's always best, but you know. I mean, I got confidence I would let you have my helicopter and go out and practice doing autos by yourself. Uh, we just taxi back? Yep, we'll just hover back. We'll take a Bravo taxi park. Helicopter <laughs> 1 Tango Bravo, Roger, taxi north on uh, Alpha, Alpha 5 to the rim. Alpha, Alpha 5 to the rim, 1 Tango Bravo. Clear mill 7, Charlie, Charlie, wind 010 at 8, runway 36, clear for the option. Clear mill 7, Charlie, Charlie, runway 36, clear for the option. I mean, is it, so for a taxi and something like this, is this too yeah. high, too low? Oh, it's fine. It's perfect. Okay. All right, so we're taxiing along. Whoop, whoop, there went your engine. Keep them to level. Just keep them level. Oh, okay, just keep them level, use the collective. That's, yep, that's it's good. a hovering auto with forward airspeed. Gotcha. Okay. So the wait for it to quit. But actually, your engine already quit, remember? <laughs> All right, man. All right, quit. Try one of those. That's interesting. So it's just a hovering auto with forward airspeed. So there's auto. no yeah. flare, you're just nope. running on. Ooh. Yeah, last thing you want to do is flare, because you'll hit like that and it gets to bounce and you'll take out your tailbone. I keep getting caught on the uh, that line, the yeah tar line, the tar line, yeah, yeah. All right, let's. Uh... Okay, are well, you ready? Yep. I'm gonna roll the throttle down, a little bit of right pedal, set it settle a little bit up on the collective. All right, wow. I always forget this part. <laughs> All right, try one more. You have the aircraft. I have the aircraft. Because that could happen. I mean, you're like you talked about. That's the earliest. I've had three of them. Have you really? <laughs> yep. God, I'd be uh, pissed off at your maintenance after <laughs> yeah. that. Well, it, every time, what happened was it, it broke the uh, drive gear on the uh, magneto. There's a magneto loss. All right, so now just kind of flatten it out. All right, now we're going to roll the throttle down a little bit of right pedal up on the collector, just like an auto. There you go. Power guys probably like, what are these yeah. idiots doing? <laughs> yeah, there's two drunk guys in a helicopter. That's the drunken farmer routine. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, we'll pick her up head over there. Though so, you're not going to find that one in the helicopter flying handbook, by the way. <laughs> so, but, but that's that's but realistic, realistic training, yeah. though. That's it yeah. should be. I mean, I can take off and get to 40 and do the same damn thing. If the engine quit, level it. It's just like the end of an auto rotation, basically. You know. Leveling it up on the collective, slide it on, and you still got full control of the aircraft, even though the engine's not running. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah it's still. Yeah. All right. Is this actually hard on the helicopter doing this, or is oh, it? not really? No. Nah. I haven't bent one yet, but you know, hey, with knock on wood, yeah, <laughs> knock on some wood there. They're pretty hardy, you know. I, mean, it's, it's I didn't realize how sturdy they were, oh, really? you know. Yeah, and they're good. Tra like people crap on Robinsons, but and I tell you, they are. You get a lot of value for your money with a Robinson. Not only that, parts are available like that. I can get you. We can get an AOG and another part delivered usually the next day or the second day. Get you back in the air. Some other helicopters. I won't mention the brand name. 
sometimes are in our, our shop for months waiting on a, a part. Uh, it's like, man, this could just kill you. Especially if you're like a crop duster. Oh, yeah. Crop dusters will generate, you know, thousands of dollars a day. If you're down for a week, it might cost you $100,000 in lost income if you don't have a helicopter. So, what do you think about right here? Yep, what do you think? Ain't no sense of going too far. Yeah. We're we'll getting a little bit of that filming stuff. Yeah, probably. That's just terrible. All right, pick it back up. I'll show you no trick from way back. Look way the hell out there. Yeah. That was the hover. And we're looking all the way over at that, that uh, like the uh, light there. And then when you go to make your landing now, just kind of let it almost surprise you when it touches. There you go. Not bad. Why oh, we're bouncing so much? <laughs> Wind off or something? Yeah. All right. My six landings of the time. I like a bunch of landings on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's interesting? Every R44. Every R44 flies a little bit different from the other. Yeah. We you think they'd be well, they're exactly the same aircraft. Well, actually, they're not. They're a little different on weight based on equipment and all of that. And they just fly a little different one from the next, you know, so. Yeah. Now, uh, what gets me sometimes is when I get close to buildings, I, you know, the, the, yeah. the one thing about the Robinson is the tail rotor. Yeah. You know, it just does, sometimes you just don't, it's a little squirrelier. I can't thank you enough. Oh, man, you're this quite welcome. This has been an awesome, great, great training. Yeah, we'll have to do this again. Absolutely, we will. I'd like to thank Dr. Paul Salmon at Cape Copters for some awesome training. Just goes to show you how important auto rotation training is and being prepared for what happens if the engine quits. I mean, this is stuff that can save your life, save the helicopter, save your passengers. It can be the difference between a very severe crash and walking away. He, the doc even talked about uh, he had just recently done an auto rotation with an R-22. So I'm definitely very appreciative of the training. And if you want to check him out, he's up in Missouri, uh, capecopters.com. You can go fly with him. He, he does uh, both helicopter and gyrocopter uh, training. Uh, also on the helicopter front, I've recently partnered with Helicopter Association International to help promote safety across the uh, helicopter and aviation industry. So uh, I'm really excited about that opportunity. I'll have a video later. We'll talk more about what we're going to do. But also, uh, if you're in the area or if you've signed up to Heli Expo uh, in March of 2022, uh, I'll be there and I'll be there with the uh, HAI folks. So real exciting stuff with helicopters. Uh, it's been a, an awesome journey so far, and I hope to continue it with the channel and continue sharing all the training. Programming note on this video, this was actually day three of the training. So we, we I showed you day one, uh, day two I skipped, and this is day three. And I know typically I'm pretty transparent. I show all the different days and you know every uh, bump and you know thing that I've screwed up, including the landing there that you just saw. But because it really, I didn't see anything new, it was a lot of repetition just for programming and for the channel and kind of the way the analytics are going, I didn't show uh, part two, uh, which was the, um, or day two of the training. So uh, I'm not trying to hide anything. There wasn't anything uh, different or unusual about it. It's just, it was a lot more repetitions and I thought this would be a, a better way to wrap it up. So uh, stay tuned. There's gonna be some more helicopter training in the coming weeks and uh, more helicopter vlogs. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.